Hello friends, I warmly welcome you to tutorial number 12. We were going to be discussing about the Citicon color transition component. So this is one of the most useful components that we have in our library. And as you can see right there, the Citicon color transition allows you to apply some color transitions onto the back color of a wind form. So how can this color transition be used and where can it be used? We're going to start by answering the second question. Where can the color transition be used? Or where is it useful? I'm sure you have at one point in time installed Windows 10 operating system. When it is about to finish up setting the operating system to be used, a color transition happens on the screen. This can be applied in your application. Such capabilities are possible when you are using this component. You can use a please wait dialog or wait for process to complete or any other information dialog while a time consuming process is finishing up. Maybe it's setting up an account, setting up whatever configurations that may be time consuming. You can use a color transition to allow the wind form to show several colors in a smooth transition while completing the time consuming task in the background. This is an improvement to a please wait dialogue with a single solid color which is just stale, staring at the user. So how can this be used? We need two components. The first component obviously is the Citicon color transition. So I've dragged and dropped the color transition onto the wind form as you can see right there and the second component that we knew you that we need is a timer component so i'm going to drag and drop a timer component onto the wind form as you can see right there so how do we use these two components here the first thing to remember is that the silicon color transition need the timer component to work the Citicon color transition needs a timer component to work. So the timer component has to be enabled. So I'm going to enable the timer and I'm also going to set the animation transition to true, the auto animation or the auto transition to true in the Citicon color transition component. And the second thing is that I'm going to double click on the timer to create a timer tick event and I'm going to paste a single line of code which I've already written and I'm going to explain what is happening right there. So as you can see, the Citicon color transition has a property that is called value. This property is of type color. So what we're doing here or what we're saying here is that we are setting the back color of the form to silicon transition value which is of type color. We are saying that the transition component should take its value or its color property and apply that color property onto the back color of the form. Because of this, the Citicon color transition will constantly look at its value property, which is of type color, and the current value or the current color is applied onto the back color, at the same time applying a smooth transition. What's interesting is that this Citicon color transition is an array of color properties. As you can see, the default is red, blue, orange. So we're going to start by customizing, changing red to black, changing blue to green, and then we're going to leave orange as it is. So what, what will happen in this case is that the Citicon color transition will be iterating over these colors, taking their value and applying that value to the back color of the form. In doing so, a transition starts. So let's see what happens. 
let's save and let's build and then run so let's wait for the project to complete building and running the application there we see a smooth transition so what is happening is that the silicon color transition component is constantly checking its value property which contains a color and that value property is then applied onto the back color of the form as you can see right here we have not set the value hence this is done automatically by the color transition by the color transition component it constantly looks at the array and takes all the colors that we have added to the array and apply them onto a wind form right there so we can take a label for example with an acetylcon html label we can take it and we can say for example please wait and let's set it to white let's increase the font to 15 pt or maybe 25 pt there it is let's run and see what happens there it is so we can customize a please wait dialog and we can apply a silicon color transition to animate the back color or the background color of the form so this is much interactive than giving a or making a still solid color with no transition it's quite boring to to look at but this is quite interesting because the user can can see the transition while waiting for the process to complete so this is how we use the silicon color transition and remember for the color transition to work it needs a timer control so the timer has to be enabled the color transition auto transition value has to be enabled as well and we can see the color transition happening right there we can set up to any number of colors to be shown by the transition if you come here to an array you can see that we can add as many colors as we want and these colors are going to be shown by the color transition so let's add a few colors and see what will happen let's look for lime and let's look for black and we set okay we run our project we wait for visual studio to save reboot reflect changes and run the application there you can see the color transition happening it's quite easy to use this color transition so there you have it friends um, we can use this color transition to create a please wait dialogue or a process dialogue or operation in progress dialogue or any other dialogue as we wait for a long process to complete so thank you so much for joining me in this video my name is Russell Chidakwa I work for Silicon Technologies and uh, I'm a developer at Silicon Framework I kindly ask that you subscribe if you haven't done so so that you don't miss out on our future videos thank you so much happy coding cheers